what are some of the newest um, approaches and newest areas of concerns uh, that you see is covered in the book's uh, uh, content? Okay, great. I can answer that question actually on a couple levels. Great. Um, the first level is that the conversation about trauma counseling is fairly recent. Mm -hmm. Not that we haven't been doing it forever, because we have. Uh -huh. um, but the conversation about including trauma issues in pre-service training is a fairly recent conversation. Um, if you look at the curricula across um, master's degrees in the helping profession, and I'm, I'm saying master's degree because typically across the helping professions that's usually the entry level for people, right? Mm -hmm. So if you look at the curricula of master's programs, it's a very recent development that teaching anything about trauma has been included in this mm -hmm. curricula. Um, so that's one issue. Mm -hmm. um, an issue specific to counseling is that it's only been mandated in a recent iteration of our accrediting bodies right. regulations. Right, the CACREP standards, exactly, yeah. Exactly, yeah. the CACREP standards mm -hmm. that um, anything about crisis, trauma, mm -hmm. disaster mm -hmm. needs to be included in the curriculum, so that's mm -hmm. fairly recent. Now, in terms of develop it, developments in the field of traumatology, um, and I've been working in this arena for it's coming on four decades now. Mm -hmm. um, so I have been witness to a lot of transformations right. in dealing with trauma. We've pretty much come to the conclusion that an integrative approach is a very important approach. Mm -hmm. People are talking a lot about trauma-informed care, which certainly, in anywhere that we have trauma-informed care going on, we're using integrative approach, approaches. Mm -hmm. One of the things that um, I suggest in my book is the need for what I call the ISAT approach mm -hmm. to trauma, and that is an integrative, systematic approach to trauma. Mm -hmm. And the reason that I think it's important to talk about it, to talk about trauma from both an integrative and systematic approach is this. From the integrative perspective, that's actually what we're, that's what we're doing mm -hmm. with clients when we're sitting with them in the counseling process. Mm -hmm. Um, the systemic approach has to do with the fact that it's not enough for the counselor to be informed on trauma issues. That counselor is in need of supervision. Whenever we're working with highly traumatized people, right. being in supervision is a really important mm -hmm. component of working with a traumatized client. So the supervisor needs to be aware mm -hmm. of trauma issues. And in fact, that counselor and that supervisor are working within a clinical context mm -hmm. that needs to be informed about trauma. But not only does the context of the specific agency mm -hmm. need to be trauma-informed, uh -huh. but the whole mental health system that that agency is a part of right. needs to be informed regarding the important issues of trauma. So ISAT model, right, I think, yeah. is an important right. uh, way of conceptualizing the needs, not only of the client mm -hmm. who has experienced a traumatic event, mm -hmm but also uh, the importance of the counselor being aware, the supervisor being aware, and indeed the entire system being aware. Right. The male health system, as well as the health care system in general. Absolutely, well. yeah. absolutely. Yeah. And you make a really important point. How many times do doctors sit in their offices, in their exam rooms, mm -hmm. seeing a client right. who has some physical manifestation mm -hmm. of trauma but there are also these psycho-emotional right. issues that need to be attended mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, so good.